Hey guys, Mr. PC Electronics here. Today we're going to be changing out a keyboard on a ProStar P150HM laptop. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is just uh, some screwdrivers. This is a little screwdriver kit. More than likely we're going to need the larger Phillips out of this kit. Plastic knife. Get them at Wendy's or whatever. And the keyboard for the P150HM model. Now we're gonna just open the laptop up. And let me see if I can't get it, there we go. And we're going to wanna pop this speaker panel off. So we're gonna take the uh, Wendy's knife, we're gonna come in the corner over here. We're gonna do a little lift up right here and just kinda slide it down. And you don't wanna break any of the prongs off, so just be careful. Just gently pull up a little at a time and that's it for that we can set that aside now we have one two three four five Phillips head screws and there we go I'm just gonna use a screwdriver with a neodymium magnet on it to just collect these other screws so we don't lose them and now it should pop straight up this uh, person had a piece of tape on there and now you're going to pull forward another key and you're going to tilt it back like this and put it forward and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the ribbon be careful not to push it too forward you don't want to scratch your screen you want to get a little flat head screwdriver a small one like this and on either side here and here you're just going to push up And then now the ribbon, you can take the whole keyboard and pull forward and it comes right out. While you're in here, you can get a little rag, maybe spray just a little bit of Windex on it. Just barely damp. I wouldn't suggest getting any kind of liquid down in the motherboard. But just so it's kind of damp and just wipe the dust out. At least maybe rubbing alcohol or Windex, something that evaporates. So if you do tend to get some in there, it'll be evaporated by the time you put it back together. So just wipe the edges so we can get a nice clean keyboard installation because a lot of times you put the keyboard in there and you'll see all this dust particles on the outside. It doesn't look real professional. While I'm at it, I'm going to take this uh, into the next room. I'm going to spray a little bit of uh, Windex on here and I'm going to get a little toothbrush and I'm going to scrub out the grit and then I'm going to dry it off so it'll look a lot better because the dust gets stuck in where the speakers are. Now that we clean this up, make sure you, if you're using rubbing alcohol, you dilute it at least 50-50 or... 30, 70 because if you don't it's going to turn the plastic white especially with the 91% uh, rubbing alcohol that stuff will really do it. So now we're pretty much ready to install a keyboard and we're just going to slide it out and like before these little tabs they go forward so what we want to do is this one's taped on we're going to take the tape off and we're going to install it like this first so like this and we're going to pull the ribbon back and slide it in place now we're going to take the ribbon and we're going to slide it all the way in there and you want these clips to stay open these ones seem to be closing so make sure they're open because we need these little tabs all the way in you don't want to see any of the little soldering lines so we're gonna push down on this side of the clip and push down on the other side of the clip and keep doing that back and forth until it's completely closed and then we're done now we just take the keyboard and we're gonna slide it in these slots right here there's little tabs so we just slide it straight down and flat and now we're ready to put the screws back in. Now that the keyboard's all screwed in right here with these five screws, we're going to take where the power button is, and the power button was actually over here on this side. So we're just going to flip it around, and it's just got little lock in brackets. So we're going to start from the downward area, and put those in there, push down as you're putting it in, and then just click it in, and that's it. 